Scene 7321. Hey y'all, Artist Poet Girl here, also known as APG Jamie. And today, we're gonna make a silicone mold of that there uh, Ford Mustang car. Okay, okay. So you want all your stuff ready in advance. Now, I just need not even half of this car, okay? Maybe a quarter of it. So anyway, I'm gonna put on some of this here, uh, gloves in a bottle. Now, if you happen to be sensitive or uh, allergic to silicone, be sure to wear some rubber gloves, okay? Or plastic gloves or whatever kind of gloves you got because this stuff can be nasty. Take your jewelry off, okay? Okay. Now, if you're fortunate enough to have a caulk gun, you can use that to open uh, your tube of caulk of silicone, 100% silicone. I can't find any of my 20 million guns, okay? So I had to use the craft knife thing there. Now I'm using Dawn dishwashing liquid. You use whatever brand you think is gonna work for you. I don't know. I use Dawn. My water is cold because that's what works for me. I don't know what works for you, okay? I use cold water and Dawn dishwashing liquid and 100% silicone. Because when you put silicone in soapy water, or when you want to soap your hands up in your whatever thing you're going to cast a mold of too, you want that soapy, good and soapy, y'all. Um, now I forgot what I was going to say. Anyway, that's terrible. Because I've done this voiceover like five times to you. <laughs> Because I was silly enough and soapied my hands up in advance, I have to use something to use uh, to push the cock out. That's what I was going to say, cock gun. You want a cock gun, y'all. Trust me on that. Okay. So I'm kneading the uh, silicone into the water, and what happens is a chemical reaction, supposedly, uh, between the dishwashing liquid and the silicone in the water that firms it up. And because your hands are soapy and everything's soapy, it's not going to stick to you. All right? I'm no chemist. But I appreciate those of you who are. So I'm kneading it around to get it uh, to a consistency where it's going to be firm, but not solid or running. Okay? I ended up casting both sides of the car. And uh, so you get about however much silicone blob you think you need. You've form it into the rough shape. You want to have your container that you're going to put your uh, silicone in already ready. In this case, I have um, parchment paper in the bottom of this plastic doohickey that I used. Now, we're going to mold the other side, so just hang in there, okay? I'm really happy with the way that one came out. All right, there's a little place that needs some little trimming in there, but that's all right. I do that after it sets up for over 24 hours, because that's what I want. I want it good and cured, okay? Take a breath. Okay, so here's the other side. Now, again, I needed it in my cold, soapy water for a little while. How long's a little while? I don't know, five minutes, 20 days? I don't know, a little while, y'all. <laughs> and here's my soapy car. I formed my uh, um, semi-solid silicone I'm gonna get back in camera in just a second to the rough shape and size that I needed I'm pushing my car in be careful don't push your item too far in because you don't want it all the way through because then then you you got a hole on the back side now you got nothing you can mold in there all right so that's what I do now I'm just pushing up the edges a little bit to uh, form it around there I'm gonna go away I'm gonna have lunch and let that set up for a long time okay and there we go. Okay. It's good. It's not sticky. If it sticks to your fingers, leave it alone. Okay? Now, if it sticks to your thing, that's all right like that. But if your finger sticks to that silicone, stop. Don't do nothing. Just leave it alone. And you just ease it out. Because silicone will give a little bit. Pa -da! There we go. And there's a, a few pieces I need to trim up in there, too. But that's all right. So anyway, your silicone mold will uh, stretch and give just a little bit. That's why we like silicone molds, y'all. But they will tear if you're not too careful. Okay? Okay. So now it's all set up. It's been cured uh, probably over the weekend. And I'm going to put some uh, cornstarch in there 
you know, otherwise a, a release agent because I'm using paper clay. You can use these things for plaster of Paris, candle wax. I have not used it for plaster or candle wax, only paper clay and the uh, oven cure clay, Sculpty, Fimo, whatever they call it, polymer clay, that's it. <laughs> But I understand you can use it for plaster Paris, candle wax, the rosin. I guess that would include uh, ice resin. I don't know. Okay? Just use caution because use caution. All right, y'all? So that's my paper clay, my favorite brand there. List of ingredients in the description box below. I warmed it up because it was cold this day that I made this. And, um, you know, if you want silky smooth, don't use paper clay. I didn't want silky smooth. I wanted somewhat imperfect. So that's what I'm doing here. And um, I got it to about the size and shape. I have more than I need for my mold because I'm going to trim that off. All right. And I'm pushing it down in there with as much force as I can, like that wind that just went by here. Like that. <laughs> I'm pushing it in and smooshing it out and folding it back in there because I want to make sure I, I've got as many crevices as I can get because I'm not going to take this out until it's pretty good and dry, at least on the back side, which we'll get to that in a minute because I already did all this, you know, a <laughs> couple of few days, weeks, months, years ago. <laughs> okay, so uh, I think I'm getting close to where I like how it's feeling because I want it in there good and firm. I'm taking a palette knife. Uh, I wouldn't use anything too sharp because you could risk cutting yourself. And then you your new fancy uh, silicone mold. It's just a palette knife. It's plenty sharp enough. And I'm trimming up the uh, backside there because it's going to be the backside of the car. I don't know why it's humming on my end. I hope it's not on y'all's. Anyway, so I apologize if it is. And I'm just cleaning up the edges a little bit. Um... I will take this in the house because the humidity out in my studio is so crazy because I don't turn the air conditioner on and I don't turn the heater on unless I absolutely necessary because I'm frugal like that. Okay? I just am. So I'm going to set that uh, in the house overnight because it's going to be overnight, y'all, and uh, let it let it dry up that way. That paper clay, I put some uh, a little bit of water on a paper towel, set that in the end, fold it up, put it in Ziploc baggie. I let it set overnight in the in the house and it seems pretty dry on the outside. Of course, that's just the outside. The inside hasn't gotten any airflow. And it, um, the paper clay seems to be wanting to pop out of there somewhat nicely. I hope it's not too soon, but I'm going to try it. Now, you can pull and stretch these a little bit. But err on the side of caution and understand that um, it won't necessarily break, but it could probably tear. Whoa, look at that. It just popped right out. Woo, I'm impressed. Let's, let's see what it looks like. I'm going to look first. I'm going to look first. Ooh, I like it. It's not perfect, and I was not going for a perfect look. But I like it. And I'm going to take it back in the house to dry in the house. Being how, like I said uh, before, the humidity is more consistent in there than it is out here in the studio where it's raining today. So, and that, I believe, is exactly what I'm looking for. Once it dries and I get it all sanded up and purdied up just a little, I think it's going to go right there. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Okay, here's my car. I popped it back in the silicone mold. It is dry. And what the way I dried it is I set it on top of the refrigerator in this box. You probably could put rice in there as well. I would not dry it in the oven. And the reason being is because it is thick. Let's see. How thick is this? Where's a ruler? Hmm. 
Ain't no ruler bossing me. This is approximately half an inch thick. So that's pretty thick. Okay. So it has taken a while for it to dry. Sorry if I'm making the camera shake. All that other extraneous noises. Anyway, um, I set it in there like that for half a day. Rolled it over for a half a day. Before I went to bed, I would set it like that. And then the next day I would set it, you know, like that so that I'm exposing essentially everywhere. And I would change um, how it was sitting in the box pretty much at least every four hours and then overnight. Because I wasn't getting up all night to do it. And now I'm just going to trim it up some. Straighten up the edges a bit. This is a sharp blade. It's a so here we go. It's back uh, sped up. And now I'm doing the voiceover again. I know it's confusing. You should be on this end of things, y'all. Because I'm telling you, this is just giving me some fits all over the place. Trimming it up. Be careful. Don't be cutting yourself, okay? Easy does it. Now I'm going to take that fingernail file. Well, that one's really not working so good. So I'm going to use this actual emery board and do some sanding on it. Okay. Now back in the olden days, cars were different. Now this is a new model car. Not the same kind my husband had back in the day. All right. That's a sanding block. And I'm really sanding the back flat because I really want it flat. I'm wiping off all that dust, that paper dust, because now it's dried paper, okay, with a damp baby wipe. It's damp, y'all. It's not wet, okay? Clean up my air a little bit. That's all I'm doing, okay? Oh, take a breath. Now, I'm sealing this up with matte medium because it's considered raw paper, and it will absorb anything you put on it like crazy, okay? your paint, your, I don't know, whatever, whatever you put it on. That's why I'm sealing it with the matte medium, all right? All right. And I'm doing that pretty good. And I put on two coats. Uh, I don't know if I necessarily show you both coats, but I put on two. I didn't put any on the back, did I? Yes, I did too. What am I saying? Of course I did. Don't be redonkulous. <sighs> okay. This five-day video has been brought to you in less than... 18 minutes. Okay, not quite 18. Well, not, yeah, just a little, 17. Okay. There is a photo montage. And let me just say thank you in advance to all my new subscribers. I love y'all and I appreciate each and every one of you for the time you spend with me, your kind comments, your wonderful thumbs ups. And, and your shares and all that goodness because it really lets YouTube know you like what I'm doing. Well, it lets me know you like what I'm doing too because, yeah, that's just what it does. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'll say that again in a minute. So, as you can see, I'm super speed painting this. Now, back in the day, cars had chrome on them. Okay, they had chrome bumpers and chrome things around the doors and all that stuff. So that's kind of what I'm doing. And it's heat gun in here every once in a while, y'all. So here is the mixed media frame that I needed this car for. It's a birthday present for my husband. Don't tell him because it's not his birthday just yet. Okay, okay. Now, on my phone over there, I had taken a picture of how I liked all my metal embellishments and such because that's what we're doing, little metal embellishments on here. Because he's a guy and I wanted a masculine thing. I'm using gears and stuff like that, which is why I had the idea, well, why don't you just silicone mold a car? Which is the whole point of this video because I needed the car. Okay? A little tiny car. But I didn't want to use a real car. I only wanted a portion of a car. So there we go. So, and I've sped this all up because I'm just using the E6000 uh, to glue on these metal embellishments. Did I say there was a list of ingredients in the description box below? Okay, well, there is a list of ingredients in the description box below. <laughs> And each little part of this is going to get faster and faster and faster. Now, if y'all would like me to show you how I did this mixed media frame, let me know. 
and I will try to do a video on it. Now, it will definitely be a two-part video, okay, because it takes a little while. And I need to know because I need to add it in, into my uh, video schedule because, you know, I schedule out what projects I'm going to do and when I'm going to do them and stuff like that because, you know, I'm a very busy lady. <laughs> <laughs> well, that and we, you know, we still are getting infusions on Friday. So, any hoodies? On with the show. It's almost time for a photo montage. And I'm just so happy with, with my silicone mold. I molded some other things, and that will be a second part video. I don't know when, a week or two or five. I don't know. Sometime soon. So, there we go. Makes me happy. Here comes the car. The whole point of the silicone. <laughs> I'm just uh, scooping off a little bit of the excess uh, glue that smooshed out from under it. I'm just using my little pokey tool there and wiping it on a damp baby wipe or a paper towel. I don't know. It could be either one. So, the uh, damn montage. <laughs> I love you guys. Look at that. So happy. Makes me happy, and I know, I just know my husband's going to like it for his birthday. Shh, don't tell him. Don't tell him now. Mm -mm. It's not until May. <laughs> oh, y'all. This was a fun project. We did it in Creative Circle, and, of course, I finished it at home. Just loves it, y'all. Let me know if you want to see how to. How to. How to. <laughs> And that disclaimer screen will be coming up momentarily. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, there it is. <laughs> oh, thanks for watching. And happy earning, y'all.